Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Joe, how you doing, my friend? Good evening to you. Good evening. Here, checking the results of the Champion League. Oh, I saw that Barcelona lost, I think it was 5-0? 3-0. 3-0? Yeah. No. Against Juventus. Are you sure it was 3-0? 3-0. I saw a lot of posts on Facebook and they were saying that it was like four and then they were saying that it was five, but it was three zero? Three zero. Three zero. Cien por ciento seguro? Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> I, I believe you, I believe you. That hurt, by the way. I am a huge fan of Juventus de Turin. But not, please don't tell me that it's because of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. No, since 19, uh, 1980. In oh, nine. okay, then, yes, yeah, we, we can accept that. We can accept that. <laughs> that is good. Since when I was a child. All right, that, that is nice. Um, you know, I used to like growing up, and I'll tell you why. I used to like El Inter de Milan. Yeah. Porque, I don't know if you remember, there used to be a soccer game that I think came out like in 97, 1997, 1998. And I remember that I got the game and it was, I think it was FIFA. I think it was either FIFA, FIFA. 96 or FIFA 97. Yeah, y en esos remember that. Tiempo, creo que estaba Ronaldo. I, I, I don't remember quite for sure, but he was really fast with Inter de Milan. So... You know, I used to start, I used to play with Inter de Milan because they had that really fast player. I, I can't remember if it was Ronaldo, but I almost, I think it might be him. And it could have been, si no fue en el 97, maybe 98, 99, something like that. But ever since 98, 19, because verdad, en el 98. 96 and 97 was in Barcelona. Okay, then I think that it was because of uh, so it was it, it was Ronaldo and it was he was in Inter y lo estaba jugando en FIFA. So desde ahí me comenzó a gustar mucho uh, to play with Inter de Milan and y me comenzó a gustar la camiseta and then everything that had to do with Inter. So since 1998, man, 1998, yeah. 99. Oh my God, I remember a hey, Panza Morano. Chino Recova. Yeah, yeah. El you know, West, el Bam Francesco Bam, Toldo. El, el, el Bam Bam, Bam Bam, el, I saw him as a coach right now. I, I think I they, they did a report and he's like, a, él que, había quedado como coach, pero no me acuerdo, creo que fue un equipo aquí en, um, en un equipo en México. And I didn't recognize him, man. <laughs> like, you know, they, they brought them up and they said, hey, este es el Bam Bam Zamorano. And I didn't recognize him. I was like, who, who? I can't even remember what he looked like. So, so you know, that's that's how that's how old I feel, man. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, sometimes. Yeah, you know, and then, you know, when you hear people talk about, um, they, they say, oh, 10 years ago in 2010, and I think to myself, oh, my God, you know, 2010, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit, you know. <laughs> hola, hola, buenas, bienvenida. Gabriela Berenice, hello, hello. Welcome. Hola, welcome. buenas noches. Buenas noches. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Welcome. Hola, Jose, buenas noches. Hi, Gabriela. How is it hello. going? I'm having my dinner right now. <laughs> oh, well, bon appetit. Buen provecho. <laughs> hey, have you guys noticed that in English you can't say buen provecho? There's like no, no words. There's no words. Really? So, no, that's why you say it in French. Uh -huh. Bon appetit. Bon appetit, yeah. So whenever you guys see like Americans, but now I think it has to do with the culture because Americans don't wish um, for somebody else to have like a good dinner. Like they don't say, you know, bon appetit. They don't say buen provecho. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. They just sit down, they do the blessing. Like Actually, if they pray, 
see if they pray, they pray, and then the blessing, and then that's it. But they don't say buen provecho or, or I don't know. Uh, you know, somebody else told me that somebody that came from Germany, he said, why do you guys keep telling yourself bon appetit when you guys are about to eat? And, and I said, well, I don't know that, you know, we've always done it. Do you guys do it? And he goes, no, we don't do it. También, you know where else? <laughs> Colombia. <laughs> en Colombia no lo hacen. Aunque son, ¿verdad? Latinos y con nosotros y que no sé qué. Pero en Colombia no lo hacen. No se dicen buen provecho. Eh, vine, sí, sí. <laughs> especialmente porque I thought that the Latin countries did it. You know, I mean, we've always done it here in El Salvador. Yes. Desde que estaba muy pequeño. Por educación, aunque no conozcas a nadie, le decís buen provecho si lo descomiendo. Right, right. And I, you know, and, and it's really weird to see somebody from Colombia tell you, no, why do you guys do that? That's weird. And, and I ask him, and so what do you tell people that are eating? And he says, nothing. You just sit down and you eat. And I was like, oh, no, well, we can't do that. You know, if, if I go to a table and somebody's eating, I, I always say, buen provecho. And then I start eating myself. Yeah. I don't know. But but they say that it was kind of weird. Hello, hello. Hi, Elisa. Welcome. Hola, Saida, Natalie. Natalie, Natalie. Hello, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. A ver. Good evening. And hello and welcome. And I think I, I can't remember if yesterday I kept telling you guys that today was the last day. I want to apologize. I think that in my mind, today was going to be my last day. And I, I felt I felt like I was telling you guys que ahora iba a ser, pero creo que tuvo que ver con el, con el, con el mensaje que estuvieron mandando. Ana Gloria, hola, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Thank welcome, you. welcome. I, 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 restore, uh, I was resolving this, my problem with the past class. Okay. And since then, I have 19, 90, 90 Na points. Oh my goodness, that's great, yeah. That's yes, really good. Uh, bueno, y bien. Y viene la pregunta de la noche. ¿Cómo le va con la plataforma? How are you guys doing with the platform? I already finished. Nice, well done. <laughs> nice, well done, well done, everybody. Okay. Have you guys received any messages for the new re for the new enrollment of the new module? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. I will okay. Okay. All right. Um, so the way that they have it, the new modules, um, they sent a list of the trainers and there's about, there's a few of us now, there's, there's a lot of us. Um, so there is a big chance that they're going to switch everybody around. Um, they did it with the previous module. Y eso también incluía eh, no solo la clase, pero también el teacher y también las personas que vienen a cada una de las clases. So, right. So just as a heads up on that one. Well, that's very good to hear. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and share. Today, I wanted to incorporate a little bit more practice for us, especially when it came to conversation. And so what I have for you guys is some basic questions and answers, basic stuff about us, basic personal information. Um, creo que tampoco no tan personal, así que don't worry about it, right? We, we won't ask uh, edad. Ustedes saben que nosotros no podemos permitir eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, un caballero no pregunta la edad. Entonces, eh, también... Eh, Cosas así muy personales no son, sino son, son cosas personales, pero básicas. Así es que, hopefully, hopefully you guys like that activity. Um, going back to nuestra plataforma, a los últimos días, tan, 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 let me see here. On our week number four, 
day number three. We are in section number five. And the final exam is fast approaching. Por aquí está el, fa por aquí está el final exam. Y aquí están nuestros, ¿verdad? Nuestras actividades, nuestras lessons. And as you guys can see, I am pretty much done with section five. I only need expectations and then the last knowledge check and I am done with section five. How are you guys doing with section five? Did you guys complete it? Did yes, you guys? Teacher. Yes, He's all complete. right. Well done, well done. And then we did a few of the final exams. We did one, two, and then we did three. We said we were gonna leave uh, the listening exercise because I couldn't really, you know, I couldn't really fill it in. Um, we left, check the correct phrase and read the stories. And then so if we have time today, we might be able to do the check the correct phrase. All right, section five on the platform, la sección número cinco y ya el final exam que está a la vuelta. If you guys need to check your progress, please remember that there's a little button at the very top that we can click on and it gives us an overview. And oh my God, look, I'm so close. I'm almost <laughs> there. This is, this is me, this is my personal. And I think that once I complete section five, I should be able to hit that. And also the final exam. So, oh, really happy about that. Okay, so with the course and with the section, some of the items that we have been talking about have been the relative clauses. And we already kind of went over the subject and the object or using a relative clause as a subject or an object. And so these two, we're gonna keep kind of going over and hopefully we can get some more practice with the relative clauses and also identifying when to use them by using some exercise sheets. So I have some of that for you guys. Let me see. I have here our presentation for today. Let me go ahead and bring that up. And as you guys can see, we have role plays. Role plays, role plays, and these are really easy. Here we go, let me see here. There are. Yeah. And so these are really easy. And the reason they're easy is because these are some of the things that we use every day. And so sometimes we also take them for granted. And what I don't want is for you guys to think that, oh, because I'm asking for a food dish that I'm gonna sound a little bit different. No, remember you ha always have to sound the same. You always have to keep the same conversation level going. Um, whether it's something as easy as asking, you know, what food types you like, or if, you're, if you need to ask a little bit more intricate questions. So I want you guys to kind of keep that in mind because even though these are easy, right? I wanna make sure that we sound them out correctly. So as you guys can see from this one, the exercise is going to be, you guys can either, you know, let's call it freestyle, right? In a normal conversation, what would you answer to somebody telling you, what is your favorite dish? And remember, we're talking about food. What is your favorite dish? Why do you like to eat it? When do you eat it? How often do you cook it? And then you get the answers, right? Um, so for example, for me, let's say I was doing the, you know, the role play on my, uh, on my own. It's like a two in one here. What is your favorite dish? My favorite dish is pasta. Why do you like it? I, you know, I like the way it tastes and I like the way that you can get pasta. Bueno, para nosotros somos los macarrones, ¿verdad? Pero we want to sound all, ay, es que como pasta. Pero en realidad, me gustan los macarrones. I like macaronis. And so what I like, what I like about them is that I can put cream on them. Um, I can mix them up with chicken and I can make, uh, you know, chicken alfredo. Um, 
I can add mushrooms to them. I can add um, salsa bolognese, I think it's called, right? The, the tomato sauce. And so literally in one week, I can eat pastas, but at the same time, I'm eating different tastes. You know, it feels like it's a different dish every time. When do you eat it? Oh my goodness, as much as, 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 much as I can, uh, I try to eat it all the time. How often do you cook it? At least four times a week. Ah, ¿qué teacher? Solo pasta pasa comiendo. Pues sí, ¿usted creen que este cuerpo esbelto y musculoso se, tiene, se mantiene así solo? No, 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 no. ¿Verdad? A pura pasta. <laughs> Puro italiano. Same thing happens when we talk about hobbies. You know, what are your hobbies? I play the guitar. You know, they can be short or you can elaborate a little bit more on the answers. Why do you like them? They're talking and they're asking about the hobby. Why do you like your hobby? Why do you like them? Well, I really like to play the guitar. So I really enjoy my hobby. Okay. When did you start them? Oh my goodness. I think I was maybe six years old when I started. So I've been playing it for a really long time. Okay. And then that's it. Right. And as you guys can see, let me see. I have a few of these. So basic questions, basic answers, but I want us to be able to get a little bit more fluency when it comes to asking these types of questions, you know, animals, birthday, seasons, school, and then holidays and music. You see that? So with each of these, I'm going to ask you guys to write down the answers on your own. If you have something to write with, you can go ahead and write down the answers. If you can do the freestyle, then you can also, you, you know, we can also do it freestyle. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch. So, I'll ask you the questions first and then you answer and then you ask me the questions and then I'll answer and then we'll try to do it as quickly as possible because as you guys can see there's a few here right so I want you guys to really think about it. all right so the first practice is regarding food and hobby now a hobby is something that somebody told me that you know the definition of a hobby would be something that you like to do and it could be playing the guitar um, it could be playing the piano it could be gardening gardening it could be anything that you like to do on your free time playing games that can also fall in as a hobby but now this is the interesting part about the hobby. The hobby you do constantly. This is something that you do maybe twice or three times a week, if not more. There are people that have a hobby and they'll do it every single day, right? Because they like it that much. So I want you guys to think of a hobby, right? I want you guys to think about the foods. And I want you guys to think about answering, you know, at the time with, that you have to answer, how are you going to answer and what are you going to say right and then we're going to try to put it together that way all right okay so who would like to go first and these are these are pretty easy these are very easy we can do a couple who would like to volunteer who wants to try it out con el teacher teacher. All right, Joe. All right, Joe. We can do it. We can do it, Joe. All right. Remember, we're going to switch back and forth. So as soon as you're done, we're going to switch. Okay? Okay. All right. And I'm going to change it up a little bit para no tener que escuchar lo de la pasta otra vez. So I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to talk about some other stuff. All right. Joe, what do you want to do? Do you want to go first in asking the questions or answering questions? Uh, sorry. Answering questions. Answering questions. All right. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. So we're going to do this like a, almost like, a, like an interview. Have you, guys had, have you guys been on interviews over um, 
over Zoom or uh, in, in, in ¿cómo es? entrevistas virtuales? Have you guys done virtual interviews? No, never. You guys haven't done that yet? Okay, so let me tell you that right now, when you apply for a job, what they tell you is that they want to see you. They want to do an interview with you. And so what they do is they set something up like this. And then so you're on one end uh, looking at the camera and then they are looking at you and then they start asking you questions and then you get to answer in real time. So I think that this would also be a good practice for that, Joe. Okay. Almost all the interviews are like this now virtual interviews. So, ah, para que no se vayan a poner muy nervioso y después, ay, no, es que me puse demasiado nervioso y apagué la cámara. All right. All right. So, here we go. Here we go, Joe. Jose, what is your favorite dish? Uh, my favorite dish is uh, pizza. Pizza. All right. Very good. Nice. Why do you like it? I love the cheese and the pepperoni. Nice. Okay. And when do you eat it? Maybe twice a month or a month. as soon as possible. All right. All right. How often do you cook it? Actually, never. Always goes to a restaurant. Oh, okay. I see. So you always order it? Uh, order. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I eat it at the restaurant with my friends and my family. Okay. Good. All right. Good. Jose? What are your hobbies? I love to read and playing guitar. Nice. Why do you like them? Because I love to read trailer histories and I love to play heavy metal music. All right. What better way, right, with the guitar? All right. <laughs> when did you start them? Reading since I was six or seven years old and playing guitar when I was 20. All right, okay, okay. Well, thank you very much, Joe. Okay. All right, all right, let's switch it around, let's switch it around. Okay. Let's start with the food. Let's start with the food. What is your favorite dish? Oh, I love uh, chicken with cream, pollo en crema. Why do you like it? You know, I like the way that the chicken and the cream taste. So I would say the taste. And when do you eat it? Oh, uh, well, this one I only eat maybe once or twice a month. How often do you cook it? Um, I never cook it. It's always my wife or my grandma. Okay, let's start with the hobby. Okay. What What are your hobbies? Oh, to game. I play video games on my PlayStation. Why do you like them? You know, it. I can sit and start to play, and next thing I know, four hours just went by. So it, it, it's really entertaining to me. Okay. And what did you start then? Oh, my goodness. I think I was maybe... I'm going to say that maybe I was 11, so it, it was quite a long time ago. I've been playing video games since I was 11 years old. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Right? Super easy. Real easy. Now, it could be really short answers or because of the way that is format, you can elaborate with your answers. So when you guys see, uh, when you guys see questions that start off with when or how often, or maybe why, those questions allow you to give a little bit more information. Now, what is also another one that you can use, and it can, sometimes it can give you more information, but it just depends on how you use it because here it's asking you specifically for maybe one specific dish. So when you use what, depending on how you formulate the question, you can either get multiple answers, but in the majority of cases, it's going to be, you know, one item or maybe a yes or no. So uh, why, when, how often, 
why or when, those will allow you to give a little bit more information. So when asking these questions, especialmente cuando ustedes ocupan when, traten de just wait, ask the question and then wait for that answer and then wait for the person to stop talking before you guys start to talk, para, para no cortarlos. Porque why, when, and how often, lo que andan buscando es mucha información, right? It's, it's what they call an open-ended question. So, so please keep that in mind when you guys are having a conversation in real life. All right, who else would like to try it out? Who, who else want, would want to practice this? Super easy, this is easy. This is imagine, imagine we were out on a date, Ana Gloria, y, y no tenemos nada que hablar, and then you can start asking this stuff. A ver, Ana Gloria, okay. Let me see. Vamos. Would you like to ask me the questions, Ana Gloria, or would you like to answer questions? The first time I think I, I want to ask you questions. You want to ask the questions. Okay. All right. Remember, we have the food, and then we're going to have the hobbies. And I'm going to change it up a little bit, too. I have a lot of favorite food, so don't worry. I have, I have plenty. All right. Vamos, Ana Gloria. Hello, teacher. Hi. What is your hi? How what is your favorite dish? Oh my goodness, I really like tuna. Really? Why why do you like it? Well, I like the taste of tuna with mayonnaise, and I like the way that I can make a sandwich with it. Mm, they are delicious. Delicious, yeah. Uh -huh. When do you eat it? Oh, with this one. I'm going to be completely honest, uh, maybe once, once a month, mm -hmm. even though I like it very much, I don't eat it that much. Once a month. Once a month. Mm -hmm. okay. How often do you cook, cook it? I don't. I, I get my sandwich from Subway. Ah. It's a tuna sandwich from Subway, yeah. I didn't try it. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Really good. Well, what are your hobbies? Okay, um, I like to work on my garden. Tengo lo roco, tengo lo roco, Ana Gloria. Vendo. Dólar la libra. Why do you like it? Why do you uh, like it? Jim? You know, I, I think it has to do with my grandparents. My grandma and my grandpa they used to have a little garden and take care of it. And from them, I kind of started to like it. And so I think it's because of them. Okay, I try, I'm trying with uh, some plants, but I really want, I only have one, uh, how do you say, yerba? Herb, the, the uh, acapate. Uh -huh. Oh, acapate. Uh -huh. I have, I think I have a little bit of acapate too. Uh -huh. When nice. Uh -huh. Oh, with this one, you know, I've, I had to move a few times. So this last garden that I have, I started it three years ago. Oh, three nice. years ago. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. Acapate, hierbabuena, marihuana. Ah, perdón, perdón, ah, perdón, Ana Gloria. No. Ah, bueno. Es para, es para, el, es para, ¿cómo se llama? Para el dolor, para la riuma. Sí, de, 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 Yeah. Okay, Ana Gloria, now it's my turn. Let me ask you the question. Remember, they can be short, they can be medium, or they can be long, however you like, okay? Okay, here we go. Ana Gloria, what is your favorite dish? I I like um, seafood a lot. Oh, okay, nice. Why do you like it? Because uh, I do I did I do I have a soup okay. with several uh, uh, seafood. Okay. The the, the camarones. Okay. Fish and uh, fibers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so camarón. You can say shrimp, shrimp, y la jaiba, creo que, I don't think there's a, like different versions in English, but you can say crab. Uh -huh. 
Y la única diferencia, Ana Gloria, es que en inglés hay de río y de mar. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I've never heard somebody tell me that it's like a different type of crab. They just say crab in general. And mm -hmm. if it's from the ocean, they'll say sea crab. Or if it's from a river, te dicen it's a river crab. Or, or agua dulce. Mm -hmm. They'll say they'll say that too. They'll say uh, river water or or uh, oh my goodness, se me fue. Pero es, pero dicen eh, de agua de río te dicen. So mm -hmm. there is the difference between a river and the ocean. Okay, mm -hmm. good. And I go to, how often do you cook it? Um, one only uh, two, one time for two two months. Oh, okay. So not not too often. Okay. All right. No. How about cholesterol? How do you say cholesterol? Cholesterol. So it's yeah. almost the same. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about your hobbies. Mm -hmm. What are your hobbies? Really, um, I like to work my friends in the morning, early in the morning, around oh. the five, five of the morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. And why do you like them? The most the time because I am mejorando, changing my 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 peso. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I have in the past, some times ago, I I I was in the, the 30, 30 pounds more than oh. now. Than now. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so and I feel better. Mm -hmm. Nice. And when did you start? to practice this hobby? Uh, I think around uh, six months ago, but okay. in the past, I, wa I went to the, to the gym, I think, in the, uh, the stadium. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I, mm -hmm. I went. Okay, thank you very much. Well done, Ana Gloria. Ahora, mejorando, mm -hmm. you could use, word, depending on what you're saying, um, you could say, I am getting better with, yeah. Get, getting better. Si estás hablando de, I, I, creo que tal vez, si estás mejorando, por ejemplo, equipo, mm -hmm. eh, ahí cambia un poco porque puedes decir upgrade. I am upgrading from one item to the next one. Y, y siempre, siempre queda en español como una mejora o estás mejorando. I'm getting better in my head. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. So I am working on my health. Puede, puede decir así nada más. I am working on yeah. my health. So you could say it like that. I am working on my health. Um, yeah. Porque creo que I am. No creo que, no creo que se que se escuchara muy bien if you say I'm upgrading my health no no se va a escuchar bien <laughs> um, yeah. right right I am working on my health y, y solo así we can understand that you are getting better with your health all right all right thank you very much Ana Gloria a ver quién más quisiera practicar con esta siguiente slide talk about animals talk about birthdays who would like to practice with these? Voluntarios. No, no todos a la misma vez. No todos, por favor. Uh -huh. Who would like to? Eh, gracias, gracias. A ver. Okay. ¿Qué le gustaría hacer? What would you like to do, Elsie? Would you like to ask the questions first or answer the questions first? Ask the questions. Ask the questions. Okay. Elisa, le, le pongo aquí, le voy a dar mute a todo para que nos quedemos. Y así, solo me le quita el mute al suyo y ya podemos comenzar. Okay. Vamos, Elisa. Let's go. Let me see. Teacher, what is your favorite animal? Oh, you know what? Um, what is this one called? The one from China, Elisa? The black and white one? The panda, panda bear. The panda. 
the panda yeah 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 so why do you like it you know even though it's a very angry animal it doesn't matter where or how you look at it it always looks very cute and so that's why i like it i like it because it looks very cute all the time where does it live in china i i, I think but in china <laughs> i think in china okay yeah in china <laughs> in so too what that what does it eat and drink well um it eats bamboo and i think it drinks water i hope that it drinks water uh, but but i know for sure that it's bamboo they eat bamboo right all right so when is your birthday my birthday is june 6. how do you celebrate it you know when i was younger i used to throw a big party now I get a little cake, little cake. With a little. <laughs> Very little cake, yeah. What presents do you like? Um, you know, I don't really like presents. How many friends do you usually invite? Oh, when I was young, I used to invite at least 10 friends. Now, it is only family. That's right. All right, all right. See, as, as, as you get a little bit older, you start thinking, no, I don't want to see my friends. <laughs> Not at my birthday anyway. All right, Elisa, here we go. Now it's your turn, okay? Are you ready for me? Yes. There we go. Okay, Elisa, what is your favorite animal? When I was young, I like I like a lot the ducks. Right now, the fish. The fish, I like the yeah, nice, nice. Why do you like why do you like it? Because the fish don't depend on me. Okay. I put food and they could and be alone all the day. And that's it. That's it. Very, that's that's called low maintenance. You put that's the right. food. You put the food, and you, you know, that's it. All right. Where does it live? In the water. In the yeah. water. All right. <laughs> do you you do have a a water tank? Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I. What does it eat and drink? I'm not sure if it drink water. <laughs> but that is a good question. Eat... <laughs> uh, I buy the food and I give it. And I'm that's not sure what... what it is. All right, all right. We'll take that. Okay, let's talk about your birthday. When is your birthday? July 9th. July 9th, okay. And how do you celebrate it? When I was young, I loved travel. Okay. Inside the country, goes to San Salvador or another department with my friends. Okay. Right now, almost I'm working, so it's a normal day. It's a normal day. That's it. All right. What presents do you like? I don't like presents. Just company. Friends, oh. family, all together. That's what I'm talking about. How many friends do you usually invite? When I was young, five. No more. Right now, just family. Just family. All right. Thank you very much, Elisa. Well done. Well done. Anybody You're else welcome. that would like to try the animals and birthday? Or 
they can try something new. Let me show you guys. We have seasons, we have school, and we have holidays and music. So we can try animals, seasons, and holiday and music. Anybody else want to try? Voluntarios? Alex? Alex, you want to try it? Yeah. All right, which one would you like to try, Alex? Um, I don't, the first one or this one? <laughs> All right, do you want to try the animals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we can try yeah. that one. Would anybody like to practice with Alex asking questions and also? Ah, oh, Elisa también, bye, okay. A ver, le voy a poner mute a todos. A ver, y voy a poner, y esta, a ver, vamos a poner, el Elisa López es, porque tengo a Elisa, bueno, y te, está dos veces conectada, Elisa. Yes, Me the camera with my cell phone. Ok. And the sharing in computer. Nice, ok, and I was like, no quiero, y, y, y Elisa, aquí tengo otra Elisa, y nunca me había dado cuenta que tenía dos. A ver, sí, aquí voy. Pues, all right, so here we go. Let me go ahead and mute everybody. Uh, can and we do holidays? We can do holidays, yes. Ladies first. Y Alexander, como siempre, él siempre bien, va, un course. gran gentleman que es. Let's go. All right. All right, so here we go. Holidays. Here we go. Holidays. Okay, Elisa, Alexander. A ver, le voy a poner mute y ustedes se quitan el mic, okay? All right. May I ask you first? Yes, you may. Okay. Three, two, yeah, one. Okay, maybe. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday? I think the Christmas. Christmas. Okay. And why do you like it? For two reasons. The first, I like it. very important. And the twice, all the families together. Okay, very family tradition. And what do you eat and drink on this day? Always chicken. Chicken, okay. Where do you spend it? Um, the gastos? is with all the family. So I spent sorry, 20 bucks, 20 dollars. 20 dollars? More or less. Okay, very nice. So go with the music. Okay, what is your uh, favorite music? I like almost, almost all the types, but not the, the real. I don't like it. Okay. Um, there's some specific thing that you like more? Like pop, rock, reggae? I don't know. Romantic, salsa, reggae, okay. pop, 19s. And why do you like it? The salsa, for example? The rhythm. Okay. I love it. And when do you listen to it? Every day. Every day. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Every day I listen to salsa, merengue, 19s, English 18s. Okay. Very nice. And who is your favorite singer? Um, could be Bastard Boys. Oh. <laughs> wow. Very All right. Nice. <laughs> I mean, hold that time out. Time out. Let me. Yeah. Um, so with with music, you said uh, el ritmo, Elisa. So that's the rhythm. I like the rhythm. The rhythm. The rhythm. Thank you. And then here where it says holidays, you see how it's, where do you spend it? It's asking for the place. Oh. Where do you spend Christmas, for example, uh, right? Where, where did you spend? The context is about the place. Not it is about a, the right, correct, okay. correct. <laughs> I'm <right>. also confused. <laughs> All right, no, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I kind of thought of, of the spend 
you know, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good question. Yes. All right. Maybe All right. All about the money. I <laughs> and I think, and I think you said you liked everything, Elisa, except reggaeton. Was that reggaeton? Yeah, no, perreo. El perreo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got I'm it now. Sure. All right, all right. All right, I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure that we cleared up the, the holiday for where did you spend it? Okay, all right. All right, and I think now we get to switch, right? All right. Elisa asking so, the questions. All right, let's yes. go. Tres, dos, uno. Alex, tell me, what is your favorite holiday? It's also Christmas. Why do you like it? Because there's a time we we share with family, but not only with nuclear family. So dad, mom, and sister. I I saw my grandpas, my uncle, my aunts, my cousins. So all the family. Right. A big family. I have a big family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need almost two homes. <laughs> Right, really good. What do you eat and drink on this day? The tradition is to eat turkey. For be honest, we buy turkey or sometimes chicken. But for a traditional, always, always a turkey. And to drink soda, Coca Cola is the drink for Christmas. <laughs> Poison. A polar bear told me. <laughs> where, where do you spend? Usually we go to uh, my aunt's home. She has a very big home. <laughs> and so we have a family. <laughs> we need a big home. <laughs> so we go to my aunt's home. Oh. About the music, what is your favorite music? For being honest, I don't listen a lot of music. I don't like a lot, but, but uh, I like a little bit of salsa, like you. You have a good like. Why do you like it? Well, I like it because it gives me a good sensation. I don't know. We're we're Latin, <laughs> so we need that flavor <laughs> in the music. <laughs> what is the name of your favorite song? My favorite song. Yes. Mm, I told you in Spanish for being <laughs> more specifically, "Hechizo de Luna." Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. yeah. When do you listen to it? Excuse me. I don't hear you very well, sorry. When do you listen to it? Oh, okay. But I told you at the beginning, I don't listen a lot of music. But when I, when I sweep my home or something like that, I put a little bit of salsa <laughs> for being more anime. <laughs> when you clean the house, it will be too. Yeah. If you do it. Yeah, sometimes. No, not always, but <laughs> <laughs> I put I me to dance. Right. I put me to dance with with the sweep. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So tell me, who is your favorite singer? Mark Anthony is my favorite singer. I know it's a little bit commercial, but I like the way that he sings. <laughs> uh, but also like the group on each. It's a very good. Choice have a beautiful voice. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Gary. All right. Thank you, guys. Well done. Well done. Okay. So, so here's the thing, right? I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but in Spanish, it's a little bit easier for us to get started and having a conversation. Y por eso le decía, Ana Gloria le decía, when you guys go out on a date y te quedas callado, o sea, what could you possibly say? Right? You run out of things to talk about. Pero, if you guys see, there is a lot of things to talk about. Eh, yo soy el tipo de persona que yo creo que trato de no quedarme callado y constantemente estoy haciendo preguntas. What, the, what is your favorite dish? You know, uh, aunque me contesté de malas, but, you know, at least we have that going. Uh, why do you like it? When do you eat it? How often do you cook it? So now, 
the original question is the first one. What is your favorite dish? And then all of the questions that you see at the bottom are, are what we call follow-up questions. Ahora, depending on how interested you are, right, you ask the more questions. Depending on how much information you want to know, well, that's how many questions you ask. Doesn't necessarily have a number. If three, like in the hobby, is enough, then that's it, right? That's it. You stop the conversation and then you move to something else. Well, that's really good. Now you know that we like gardening, so we have something in common, right? All of these things focus on questions that have to do with things that you like, and they can be used to kind of keep that conversation going and alive because we have something in common. And then so you kind of move ahead and move ahead, and it's always like these little words. Now, what I would recommend, right, is don't just straight go into, so what, what, is, your, what is your favorite animal, right? Porque imagínate, estamos comiendo y de repente te pregunto, ¿qué animal es tu favorito? It, it, it's kind of weird, right? And so you could, you could start it off a little bit softer and say, you know, I, I like animals. Um, you know, you could talk a little bit about yourself and then kind of turn the questions back to them and say, do you have a favorite animal? And then see what they tell you. Um, there are people who hate animals. There are people who love animals. And there are people who just don't care, right? So you also have to be ready for that. ¿Qué tal si estás hablando con alguien? You are an animal lover, and then they tell you that they hate animals. What, what would you do? What, what would you tell that person? If you tell somebody, I love cats, y ellos te dicen... It's a funny situation. <laughs> it's re right, Alex? Right? Yeah, man. It gets really uncomfortable really fast. So you also have to be able to accept that and kind of move away from it. Si alguien te dice, I hate animals. Okay, ya, ya estuvo. You can say, why? Why do you hate animals so much? Y ellos te van a decir, bueno, es que cuando estaba chiquito, una tortuga me comió, me, me mordió el dedo. And then, that, you know, that makes a lot of sense. All right. And then you can kind of just keep going from there. All right. Then we have the, I think that was the last one, which is the holidays. Okay. We have seasons in school. Um, anybody want to try the season in school? Seasons in school? And, and you can see that it's, they're really easy as well. And this is what we call small talk. Have you guys ever heard of small talk? Yeah. Alguien, okay, this is, these are examples of small talk. Hay otra palabra que se, que se ocupa bastante que es building rapport. A ver, se los voy a poner aquí en el chat para que lo vean. Eh, building rapport. So if you want to build rapport, you guys can use these two. Así se. Building report. Así. Y las personas te dicen, I need you to build report with somebody. Cuando alguien te dice, I need you to build report, son estas. Preguntas pequeñitas about the person. So, uh, what is your, in school, what was your favorite subject? You know, what school did you go to? When did you graduate? Oh, that's nice. And then based on what they tell you, you can kind of you can kind of build that small relationship. For example, right? Con Ana Gloria creo que hablamos acerca de eh, tener el acapate. We have acapate. So now tenemos una hierba en común. Ay, la hierba se movía, se movía. And so we have that in common. So now I can keep going with my conversation in regards to the garden, in regards to the acapate. So I want you guys to also think about that. All right, so I had this practice, but I think this one we're gonna leave for tomorrow because I wanna go back to our section five and kind of just give you guys uh, how we were talking about relative clauses. Uh, let me see, yesterday, and I had this little worksheet that I wanted to do with us. Maybe the first five. I don't remember if we did this one already or not, but I didn't remember seeing these. So that's why I kind of left it at, you know, maybe let's try it out and see what happens. So with this one, you can only use who or that. You can use which or that, or you can use where. So as you guys can see, who and that can be used for people. 
which in that can be used for things and animals and where can be used for places. So we have, this is a scientist, this is a robot, the pen drive, which is a USB, uh, a little USB portable, uh, bueno, el USB, le dicen, nosotros le decimos el USB. In English, you can also say it like that, the USB, right? You have el puerto de USB y luego los navegadores, all right? The web browsers. All right, so think about what we can put. Who, that, which, that, or where. This is a scientist blank invented a robot. What do you think Who? goes there? Who? Who? Okay. Who invented? A ver, this is the robot. Yeah. That, okay. I heard that. Okay. Pen drive is a gadget. Which? Which? Yeah, which. Okay. And this is a USB port. Where? Where? Uh -huh. Where you put USB. Okay. Yeah. These are web browsers. Yeah. Where? 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 Okay. We can find this. All right. So let's let's read these through. This is a scientist who invented a robot. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is the robot that cleans the floor. Yes. Yeah. Pen drive is a gadget which can store lots of text and photos. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's a USB port where you put USB gadgets. Yes. Yeah, well. yes. There are web browsers where, these are web browsers where we can find information. Yes. Yes. Yes? All right, yeah. all right, let's try it out. Now, remember this worksheet you guys can find on lifeworksheets.com. Se lo puedo poner aquí, porque you guys, if you feel like visiting that, you can. And let's go and click it. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it, guys. Well done. Well done. All right. Okay. Ladies and gents, let me go ahead and give you back a few minutes of your night. Today is Wednesday. El penultimo día, right? Tomorrow will be our last day. Okay. Así es que, por favor, mañana vamos a graduarnos. Se vienen super pipi, pipi is nice, ¿verdad? Eh, para, para, para la foto de clase. All right, everybody, thank you very much and have thank a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care, take care.